So a nice steady opening. Maybe they're going for the four nights. Oh, they are going for the four nights. That's interesting. So we can push as we do. And I think we're just going to keep it nice and basic. Let's just push the pawn onto the pawn. Try and keep some initiative. And we're going to capture. And we'll capture back. Keep it nice and easy. When I've been playing these um, online tournament games, played the last two, been practicing, basically trying to treat it like it is an over the board game. So in an over the board game, you're not going to touch the piece and then hover around it and drag it from here to there to see where you want to place it, if you're going to place it, because obviously it's touch move. So you'd have to make, you'd have to make a move with that piece. And also use of the arrows, I don't use any of the arrows. So basically all the thought process is coming directly from my brain in terms of not having, it's not assistive tool really using the arrows. It's just basically, it's more for instructional purposes, you know, for showing people your thought process. But for the tournament games, uh, I don't do any of that. And they've made a move, haven't they? So I could go for a check on the king, just keep it easy. Yes, yeah, so trying to make it as realistic as possible, just using own visual eye calculation. It is difficult, you know, when you're used to using the arrows, you know, on the screen, um, it is really quite hard just using your brain with the calculation. But I think it's a very good practice because I'll be playing some league matches as well. So I, I want to get into the practice of doing the calculation without the arrows dotting around or dragging pieces left, right and centre. He says as he just touches the mouse. So let's see where we want to go. And I think just bringing the bishop out makes sense. Get ready for castling. Looks like they're going to be castling too. Okay. And it really is hard not to touch the mouse as soon as they make a move. I would ordinarily just go straight to the mouse and then just start hovering over pieces. All right, so there's no need for that. Just going to castle. So they're not interested in castling at all. So I think we've got time to just take the pawn off the board. Get a check on the king with the bishop. They'll still get castle because the oh <laughs> oh never mind. This is a demonstration in it. <laughs> they they still got time to actually bring the bishop here. We can take the bishop off the board. But at least, you know, that's what I'm doing for the tournament games. And so you won't see any arrows or any movement of the mouse hovering over 
or any chit chat, no narration or anything like that. So we can take night takes, get this pawn as well. So we're going to take with a check. Oh, so he's moved the king, so he wants to save the pawn. Rook can come here looking to see if we can get something. Maybe he pushes down, but put it to 1-1. One, one. I don't think there's anything else that can protect apart from the king coming closer. At which point the bishop can come out and put a check on. I suppose he can just move to the side. So it's not really a big win. In fact, he could just go to the side. Now he doesn't have to go there. Oh, he has gone there. Okay, so we'll continue as is. Swings across. Don't have to go that way. He could go this way as well. But he'll want to stay away from the rook putting a check on. So this is probably better for them. Oh, okay. I said he was going to be running away from the checks from the rook. So if we go and put a check on the king, then he comes here attacking the bishop. Boom, boom, boom. Shall we just leave the king for now? Sometimes, you know, as we mentioned before, sometimes there's nugatory checks. Don't really want to send it to a place where it's going to start peeling pieces off. And... What else can be done? Is there anything? Can't really see anything. So we hit the hit the king. He moves here. He doesn't have to move there. He can move back. But attacking the bishop. And then the bishop can either sit here or it can attack the knight. Don't think that's too good though. Takes then bishops on the knight. And then this pawn's being attacked. So on paper it looks fine, but it's not that great, is it? Mm -hmm. Right, let's follow the checks first, and we know we're just going to have to move the bishop somewhere. Probably just moving it back. This bishop has not got any protection on. So if the king does attack, we could actually go and take their bishop. And then we're on a pawn as well. Well, what's happening here? That means we get the pawn, doesn't it? With a check on his king, but then he's going to be thinking he's arty. And then my rook is going to be in the centre of the board. So I'm going to have to keep here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? What happened? Screen disappeared. Whoa. It's not done that before. Right, okay, so we could take their bishop and then we're on their pawn as well. So it would be a pawn up. I think I'm going to go for that. And then put a check on the king. So it gives them something to think about. Do they stay on the inside so they don't get another check put on them by this rook? Push some pawns. You can take another pawn. They are escaping. But by the time we bring this here, they'll be on the rook. So I'm going to take with a check. And could keep the king hemmed in. It's just that there might be some back rank stuff coming on. And he can challenge with his own rooks anyway. I'm coming back to a open file-ish. Need to get this activated. Need to get a pawn pushed up. Get, get the king some space. We've got plenty of time. So he's attacking pawns. So let's just steady away now. We go into nice, steady, blind spot management now. 
what are they attacking, what are our danger, danger points. And try and slowly but surely support any advantages that we've got. So yeah, it would have been nice if we could get here because we would have had the step ladder. But they've seen that. Go for a momentary check or we could take the pawn. This rook just isn't in the game at the minute. Could bring it here. Still get some checks on the king, it's just it's not the right place. <laughs> it's coming down, he's going to be getting these pawns on the back. That's where he's looking to go. So if we come here, he's just going to come down. And then I potentially have to bring this one down to give the king some space. If we go there, he comes down. Still put a check on, but his king's getting closer to our rook. What do we do? What do we do? Or do we just take the pawn off? Let's go with this. At least we've got them linked up, but we know what he's planning. He wants to come here. So it looks like we're going to have to come down. Yeah, let's just bring it down. Like we said, blind spot management now. Let's not be looking to be greedy, trying to grab an extra pawn, put a check on the king. It loses us tempo because we're not fully developed yet, really, with our own pieces. So what's he looking at doing here? So we've got check. Maybe he moves there. Check. If he moves there, check. It'd be a draw, wouldn't it, really? So can we just move this here? Just give the king some space. Captures. So we're managing the key square. We've got poor majority on this side and we've got poor majority on the other side. So they have a lot to think about but we have a lot to manage as well. So it's usually harder for the person who's got the advantage. What do they say? The hardest game to win is a one game. It's coming down. Let's get the king up. Maybe try and just run through this slow, drawn out process of pushing these pawns up. Let's just push. He takes, takes. We can push. Just push these up. Something else to think about. Probably going to push here so that it stops the palm. Ooh, okay. Stops the rook from getting behind this palm. We can come up. He hasn't done that, so we'll go behind. Now we can go here. There's surely far too many pawns for them and the, on the other side of each, but each side of the board as well. So it should be fairly favorable for us if we keep our head and don't overextend. It's coming down for this pawn. Cheeky thing, I tell you. Let's come here. It's coming for the check anyway. Some more to set for that. Let's protect the pawn. Have to be careful just in case he's got some sort of rook fancy check thing going on. Doesn't look like it. What's that? Oh, yeah. Let me just come here. Plenty of time, both of us, 13 minutes. Put a check on the king. He's, he can't go here. That's blocked off. His rook can't go there at the minute because the pawn will take him. So 
we're not going to go here because the rook will take. And we can put a check on the king with the rook. Support this pawn with the pawn, but then, ooh, gets a check on, but we can move. Oh, and they've abandoned. Not resigned, abandoned. Okay, interesting game. 